All right, welcome back to part two of Two Point Perspective Drawing. Today should be a little bit more interesting with what we're gonna do. Still, it's gonna be a little bit challenging though. First thing that we wanna do is, at this point, you could take your wings off. I'm just gonna leave them on for, for whatever reason, I don't know. We're still gonna need our ruler, and we're gonna need a pencil and an eraser. Pencil and eraser. Um, now, I left off last time with making this sidewalk right here, but the sidewalk is not done. So one thing that you can do if you still have your wings on is you can draw another line right here, and this is going to be the side of the sidewalk. If you don't have your wings on and you don't have your, your point, your vanishing point, you can just eyeball it. You know, you can see that here's the line that you want to draw with and you know you want the side to be like this and i don't have enough room here but this is the corner of the sidewalk so we would draw another vertical line right there where these two planes meet now sidewalks have cracks in them right so what you're going to want to do is and you may want to turn your drawing for this is you're going to want to draw some perpendicular lines Perpendicular lines, if you don't know what a perpendicular line, these are two perpendicular lines. You've got a vertical and a horizontal. So if you think about the way that the cracks in a sidewalk are, they go, you know, they, they would run parallel. All the lines would run parallel, like to this line. So if I've got cracks going this way, I can line my ruler up with this line, and here's a crack. And then I just move down, and here's a crack. And one thing that you have to realize is that as, the, as these get farther and farther away, these lines are going to start to get closer together. So you, you, don't have, you can move the line a little bit up and a little bit up. And the, that's, these are the cracks in your sidewalk. So you just keep going. Make sure you're aiming your ruler the right way. So they should start to get closer and closer, and then down here, you know, you can, if you feel confident enough, you can not use your ruler. Now, we also need the crack to go down the front of the sidewalk. So here's the front of the crack. Here's the front of the crack. So you can see the crack goes and then down. All right, and then just do the other side of the sidewalk. So we have cracks going this way. So we have our lines going perpendicular to these lines. And then if, not as many lines to draw on this side, of course. And then of course, make them look like they're getting closer together the farther that they get. And then you just have to do the vertical lines that go down the fronts of the sidewalk. And make sure, as always with this drawing, you are drawing lightly. That way if your lines look funky and you need to redraw them, you can erase really easily. So there's our sidewalk. It's looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the brick wall. So I'm gonna show you how to do the first two rows of the bricks. And then after that, I'm just gonna speed this up. I am going to remove my wings. I do not need them anymore at this point for sure. I'm gonna get rid of those and then there's my wall, how it looks. So here's how we do the brick wall. I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna do this side first, because this is the long side. Once I get this side done, then it'll kind of be like home free. And I'm gonna line it up with my vertical corner here. Now bricks alternate. If you ever looked at a brick wall, you know, they kind of go like, there's one and there's one, but then the next row, it's like offset. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to hold my ruler against this vertical line. I'm going to start with the top row, skip a row, next row, skip a row, next row, skip a row, then just move your ruler over and use your use your lines that you just drew as a reference to make sure that it's vertical but then scooch them over just a little bit because remember these bricks are going to appear to get shorter and shorter it's an optical illusion and part of the illusion that we're trying to create is that it's getting farther and farther away so the bricks are going to look smaller and smaller so then move it over and then scooch your line over and I'm just using this having a clear ruler is is an advantage I'm just using this as a little reference so I can see where my my uh, lines are through my ruler. So if you have one of those clear rulers, and you can see my bricks are getting smaller and smaller. If you don't have a clear ruler, you can just you know you know just eyeball it. it. Doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't a math test or anything like that, so we don't have to get it absolutely exact. I'm going to go in a little bit farther because these bricks should start to really get really close by now. And I'm skipping every other row and you'll see why that is in a moment. So now my bricks are getting really close together. Those are getting really farther far away so I'm I'm really not scooching the ruler over very far at all anymore just a little bit at a time. So I want them to look smaller and smaller You can do this slowly. You try to go too fast, that's how you make mistakes, and then you gotta erase everything and start all over, and you don't want that. Now my like almost no space in between whoops. Almost no space in between my lines here at the end of my wall. Because it's very far away. Almost to to the edge of the paper now. Alright. So I've got this effect that it looks like they're getting smaller and smaller or farther and farther away. And then what you're going to do to do these other rows is you're going to go in the middle. So look in the middle, this first row, and then do the next set of rows. So, all right. So now what I'm going to do, now that you see what I'm doing here, I'll do one more and then I'm going to speed it up so that we can get through this without this video being super duper long. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so now I've got this side done here, and now I'm just going to do the other side. The same process, start with the first line, start on the top row, skip, 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 and make sure that I'm also making the bricks uh, appear to get closer and closer together the farther away that they get from the corner, just like we did on the other side. And I'll... Uh, kind of know the process, so I'll speed this up as well. All right, so here's the finished brick wall. And I realized uh, that um, one thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to outline this with black Sharpie. That'll make the lines look thicker. We'll still want to use a ruler when we do that. And it'll make the, it'll also enhance the illusion that it's getting farther and farther away on each side. And it'll make our um, brick wall a little bit more believable but what you need to do at this point is you need to decide what's going to be on the wall what graffiti are you going to do um, so you need to turn into your sketchbooks and start designing and or what else is going to be on your scene so what you can do in your sketchbook is you know and you can do a couple of different designs let's say you have like a little little sketch like this and you just you know you kind of doesn't have to be perfect, so you just draw, okay, so here's here's my wall, right? And then what do you want to go on this wall? And this is just sketching. One thing that you gotta realize about whatever you put on this wall is that it's gotta conform to the shape of the wall. So this wall is getting farther and farther away, it's getting more and more narrow, and the lettering has to get more and more narrow. So you're gonna each letter, and this is why you've got to sketch it out in your sketchbook, <clears throat> has to get smaller 
and smaller and then whatever you whatever else you do and then your design like are you gonna make it look like really cool hip-hop style graffiti or what are you gonna do how is that gonna look how's it gonna work what else is here on this wall I mean you know the, the example that we had is there's like a trash can in there maybe there's a person over here you know maybe he's got his hand up maybe he's spraying graffiti on or something um, you know are there other buildings back here is it New York City is it Miami where are where are these people what's going on here and design it all out you may want to do a couple of sketches you may want to do like you know another sketch maybe you maybe that's one idea but you had another idea and you want to you know put your name maybe you want your name on the wall you want to really sit there and think about this you know because you spent all this time constructing this detailed wall drawing and you want to make sure you get it just the way you want it in your sketch before you start to work on it.